Hi friends, it's Miss Heather here and I have another read aloud for us. This one is called Round the Garden. And you guys know what? There is a big pattern in this book. It's not on one page. It's not on the second page. The whole book creates a pattern. And you're going to really get to see all about what it is. Do you know what we have been talking about? Living things and growing. Everything that grows has a pattern. Everything grows in a pattern. So it might start small and then get bigger and bigger and bigger. And guess what? Then it has its own seeds and the whole process starts again. It starts as a seed and then it grows and gets bigger. Everything has a pattern. And you guys are going to get to see one of the patterns in this book. Our I can statement is I can recognize patterns. Will you repeat it after me? I can recognize patterns. Good job, friends. It's called Round the Garden, and it's written by Omri Glasser, and it's illustrated by Brian Glasser and Chandra Higashi. They used a computer to make the pictures. Oh, look, there is a pattern right here, isn't there? Can you guys figure out the pattern? You've got the color pattern, then you have the vegetables pattern. Here's our title page. This is the tear. Oh my goodness. It's coming out of somebody's eye. That made the puddle. Oh my goodness. That the sun evaporated. It means it turned the water into the steam. It evaporated into the air. Have you ever thought about why rain doesn't just stay on the cars all wet? What happens? The sun dries it so that water doesn't just disappear. It evaporates into the air. It does seem like it disappears though, doesn't it? It evaporates, it turns to steam. That made the cloud. Oh, so that's how it works. We have cirrus clouds, nimbostratus clouds, cumulus clouds, and stratus clouds. They must be low to the ground like that. That made the rainfall. So that's where the rain comes from. Oh my goodness. That watered the garden. Oh, look at all the plants they have in their garden. That made the onion grow. Oh, look, these are some big words. It had a seed, so it needed that oxygen and the carbon dioxide, those are big words. But it needs that air, the sunshine, the soil, and the water from the rain. That made the gardeners cry. It grew the onion that made the gardeners cry. And guess what? We could start the whole book again because that's what it started with. Remember, it started with a tear. This is the tear that made the puddle. Isn't that cool? I hope you guys like that book. Bye, friends.